Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today we're going to go over the load level async command. This should be part 8 of our application class tutorial series. So let's just go ahead and open up our project that we've been working on and the scripts. Alright, so let's just dive right in and look at the, at the command. So it's the exact same as the load level except it has an async at the end. And you could run it just like that, and it should work fine. But the async command has a few special things you can do with it. It returns an async operation, so let's take a look at that. So we're going to do a private async, async operation, we're just going to call it AO. And since it returns it, we'll call it AO equals application load level async. Now it's important to note that the async operations in Unity, so the load level async and load level additive is async, or load level async additive, I'll have to look it up up here what the proper name of it is, but uh, they're Unity Pro options, so if you don't have Unity Pro, you won't be able to do this. But anyway, so it returns an async operation. Now if we go down here, we're going to make a little progress bar to show how far this has loaded. But first, let's take a look at some of the, the three things that the sync operations have. If you were to type AO dot, you'll see that there's an is done, a priority, and a progress that you can access through it. Now the is done just tells you when the application has finished loading that level. Now, if you have multiple things loading up, it's using the load level of sync operation or just a bunch of a sync operations going simultaneously priority allows you to set you know what level of priority this one holds over the rest and the progress will simply tell you how far it is in loading it so first let's just do an if statement since we haven't until we click this button AO is just going to equal null so we want to make sure that before we try to display a progress bar, the AO does not equal null. So we'll just simply do AO does not equal null. Open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Now let's make the GUI part of the progress bar. We're simply just going to use a GUI box for it. Now we're going to need a new rack for its position in size and a string. Now we're not actually going to put anything in the string but since we need a string we're just going to make an empty one. Uh, we can close that off there. Now for its position we want it to start at the bottom left corner of the screen a few pixels up and we want it to span across the, the entire screen. So we'll de define where we want to start which will be zero. Well we want it to be 40 from the bottom, so we can just do screen dot height minus 40 pixels. Now for the width, how far we want it, uh, we're going to be using the progress part of it, so it's AO dot progress. Now this is going to return a float to us, and a float for those who don't know is a number between 0 and 1, and as it loads up, it starts off at 0, and as it loads up, think of it as a percentage of how far it has loaded. So we want to be able to move that along the screen. So we'll do screen dot width and we're going to multiply these together. So basically we're looking at the screen width times a certain percentage. And we'll also do the height, which we're just going to have as 40. Now, since the level we're going to be loading synchronously is so small, you're probably really not going to notice it. But let's just take a look. So when we click, you'll see a small little bar there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in the actual video. But it does go. Let's add a debug statement as well. So we'll say debug dot log AO dot progress 
and this will put it to our console. We won't get too many values because it is so fast. Uh, we may have to make a bigger scene. Well, there we go. As you can see, it jumped in one frame, it was at zero. The next frame, it was at 0.9. So the scene we're loading is very small, so it loads it extremely fast. There we go. Important to note that the difference between load level and load level is sync. Uh, when you call load level, what it's going to do is stop the current level you're on, load up the new level, and then change you from the old level to the new level. Where with load level async, uh, you're going to continue to play on the level you're on until, or at least the level you're on is going to continue to run, and it's going to load the level that you want asynchronously in the background. And then when it's done loading, then it will change you. Uh, it can give a much smoother progress between levels with just the regular load level. What it's really going to do is just stop the level you're on, then load up the new one, then put you in the new one, and load level of sync, it loads it in the background, and when it's ready, it changes it from one to the other. So we're, we're going to explore this a little bit more in the later tutorials or when we start making land blocks and loading them up asynchronously. But uh, until then, I'll see you next tutorial.